ATM thefts. We were talking about it on Monday. Attempted thefts seem to be happening more and more in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. This is nuts. No, Have you ever seen a rash like this going on? Not quite like this. All right, now we've reported all week long on several in the last couple of days and WMAR 2 News' is Kendall Green is at the latest attempt, this time the Walgreens right here on York Road. Shock, disappointment, fear, frustration, just a few emotions folks are sharing with us after hearing their neighborhood Walgreens was broken into after thieves attempted to steal another ATM. Uh, this year we have 29 versus last year we had 70 for the whole year. And so we've designed, assigned a detective to each one of the districts to work exclusively, to work as a liaison with all of our partners to, to work and share information to help identify people responsible for it. Uh, there's no update into the most recent theft other than we know that it's being investigated and we're working with our partners to identify who was responsible. After thieves have snatched several ATMs from their post, a significant discovery Thursday afternoon. Police recovered a white van behind the 4300 block of Eldon Road in the Southwest District, said to contain evidence that lead officers believe it's connected to an ATM theft. Which ATM theft so far? Unknown, but the most recent case, Thursday morning. That's when thieves overnight rammed their vehicle into a Walgreens, destroying the entire entrance, hoping to cash out after stealing an ATM. It blows my mind. <laughs> Yeah, crime is getting closer and closer, you know. June Davis, like several customers who visit this Walgreens every day, turned around by the very story they've only heard reports about, with the bad news seemingly inching closer and closer to their backyards. Look, look this is my neighborhood. You know, I, this is supposed to be, you, you know, a safe place. You know, when, when we go into the store, you can get all, our, all of our, what we need, all of our needs. And look at it today. I'm very shocked. I'm very surprised. We've heard countless accounts of what a welcoming, well-ran store this is, all to be the next target in a string of ATM thefts. Whole store is just great store. Wonderful people. It just really upsets me that somebody would do this to them. It's so unfair. Why they have to wreck the whole store? Oh, it's just really upsetting. Upsetting and unsettling leaving some customers feeling a growing sense of concern. Because I live right here within a block, about three blocks away, this is our neighborhood. We just had a community cleanup in the park right here. Uh, it, it's so close to home. This is terrible. I hope they catch them. Just hope they catch them. That hope, not too far fetched, now that there's evidence on the radar for police. We continue to work, work, uh, work and share information about suspect data, vehicle data, sharing video. As we've said before, if there's anyone who has any information, contact Baltimore City Police. Reporting in Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMAR2 News.